Wow, we are uploading three days in a row. Look at that. Uh, today we're going to be looking at my old Minecraft survival worlds. And we're just going to go through that and relive the memories. Uh, got a bunch of worlds here. You can delete those and then make the copies of the two worlds. I think it's only two worlds of survival that I had. One for the Let's Play and then it was just one that I made on my own. So I will delete these worlds and I will get right back to you and we can start touring my worlds. Alright, so we got the copies of the worlds made now, and we're just going to hop into a world simply called Bryce. Uh, there you go, There now you guys know my name. Uh, Sheer beehive or Nessica honeycomb used bottles to make honey. Might have to do that sometime. I have, as you can see from the last video I made, I have not played Minecraft in a long time. Uh, almost into the world here. And I'm excited just to look back and see... Everything I was able to make into the game and just see how much has changed since then. Because I haven't played in over a year. So we're just going to check out these worlds. They're from 2019. Oh man, I love this underground base. I don't even remember if I had anything up top. I had a sugarcane farm, but... Looks like it's about it. Most of the stuff I did in this world was underground... Uh, I'm not, I wasn't a very good builder in Minecraft, like with architecture and all that, so I didn't really do too much above the world. Uh, if you have underground, you can kind of hide your building skills quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I got a beacon here, was able to de defeat the wither and all that, but mm, yeah, there's not much to this. It was an attempt to make a house, but like I said, my building skills are that of it's just not even comparable to anything, but just resources in that chest for mining. Uh, over here. Ooh, we had lots of diamonds. <laughs> All right. And then we got cows. Uh, never really took into that. I think it was because it was way too noisy and kind of hard to get them into there. I don't think I had a weed farm either. Maybe I did. I don't know. This, this room was supposed to be a chest room. Think about how many chests that was supposed to be. I don't know what I was thinking. Can you imagine how many chests would fit in here? And this took me a long time to mine out too. I think I did it with an iron pickaxe, no end chance. Crazy. Spent so much time playing this game way back. Oh. Wow. I haven't touched this world in like, I wanted two years. Uh, here's a skeleton farm. I think I'm on peaceful right now, so. There is no mob spawning or anything, but yeah, this was right at spawn, and I just made into this, I watched a YouTube tutorial and made it into a farm, and it worked really well. That's how I got all my enchants was from just AFKing there. Uh, this video or this seed is actually on one of my previous videos on like the best Minecraft seed. So if you want to see the seed number and get a tour of kind of what everything's in there. Uh, you can go watch that video. I can link it in the description. But yeah, that was the enchanting room. I really like the way that the vines look on it. And then I also made some underground farms. I really like the way this looks. I just love the underground base feel because everything's all connected and it doesn't really have to look that nice. Like, this still looks pretty decent, I think. Maybe I'm just biased because I built it, but... Still gotta get the nether warts into there, but I just think the stone brick feel along with the cobblestone stairs and everything, I think I just feel like it looks so nice. But yeah. I don't know what else I have. Uh, I can show you guys the mine, I guess. It's not really too special or anything though. You guys all know what a mine is. Uh yeah, that's why I got all my diamonds and everything. Just spent a lot of time mining. Uh Miss some iron there. Must not have been paying too much attention, but uh, this brings back so many memories. This is awesome to see. It, but just wow. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to show that I built. Doesn't look like much, but it took quite a bit of time. I didn't do anything in the nether. I don't think we can check that out in a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty much all just untapped land. Maybe I could start playing this world again. It was really fun for me to just do this and not have to make videos on it or anything, but 
I feel like making the videos would motivate me to play it a little bit more if I, if you guys did want that. It has cool mountain terrains and everything. Like I said, if you want to see the world tour, or is that like the seed showcase type thing, I'll put that in the description. Really great seed with the spawners next to spawn, or yeah, the mob spawners and all that. But we'll leave that world, that was pretty much all that was in there, and we'll hop into the TGB world. Uh, that's for when my name used to be Three Gamer Boys. Uh, might be doing another name change here soon. I don't really know how I feel about the current one. I kind of rebranded, so it's more gaming, not as much of the other stuff. But it's a respawn anchor. I've I've missed so much. So <laughs> I've missed so much. We're spawning in here in the copied world. Got iron armor on, looking all swagged out. I don't know what. I could never get these to work. These villagers, I watched so many YouTube videos, and I think that was the last episode that I did on this Let's Play world, was trying to figure out all that, but obviously it did not work. I can try and show you guys where I brought them to and try to do everything, and yeah. Alright, so it's been about a minute, still looking for I think it's right up here, though. Yep, there it is. But I just... With these villagers, I was able, never able to convert them. I was trying to get, like, enchanted books and all that stuff to be able to be farmed, but I'd place the lectern down, and they would just never change, so. This is cruelty, just having all these... I was trying to hit them with the trident there, but that didn't work. Is it cruel to keep all those farmers down there? I don't know. I don't know. It's just... It never worked out for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's the villagers. Not really too much to show with that, because I was never able to complete that process, but who let me build that? That, this is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. I could have, like, hidden it or done something. This is my farms. It took a little while to do this one, but I think it turned out okay, as well as it could have. I actually didn't have a silk touch pickaxe when I did this. So I did create dirt trails from the ground outside, like up to there, and it took a while for it to grow, but everything eventually grew in. The sheep kind of eat a lot of grass, so I don't know how long theirs is going to stay like that. But yeah, this, I, I'm actually kind of proud of this house here. Uh, I just was messing around one day on mobile and I made a design like this and I don't know I just kind of liked it I know that's not anything like special or super amazing architecture but it's one of the first houses I've designed like by myself and done the interior and everything and it looks good there with the couch and the chairs and the TV and the armor stands and the triple bed and all that, overall, I think it's a decent house. Obviously, not too special, but still a pretty cool house. And then this hole, oh my. I spent so much time digging this hole. You guys have no idea. I don't know why, but it was like a 30 by 30 hole. And it was just my goal to make it from the surface level all the way down to bedrock. And I don't know why that was a goal. Just <laughs> something that would take a lot of time and it, suppose it was a challenge but yeah it just took so much time it takes so much time to mine all this uh, we can check it once we get up here but i'm pretty sure that was 30 bo 30 blocks by 30 blocks and i don't even know if i have a diamond pickaxe on this world i probably don't but that's just so insane like that's a lot of blocks to mine and if you've ever played Minecraft, you just know that mining isn't the most fun thing in the world. It's about game nighttime here, so... But there's not much left to show in the world, so we're just going to hop into bed here quick. Uh, just so it can get better lighting to see. And I think there's just one more area to show, and then that's pretty much all that I had on this world. So these two survival worlds weren't exactly, like, crazy with builds. I didn't put... A ton of time into them but 
still thought it would be cool to revisit them and relive the memories. Uh, this is the world that I was doing the Let's Play on. Uh, you can, if you're interested in that, you can find that on the channel too. But I always like these organic wheat farms and then the sugar, uh, the sugar cane around it too. I just feel like that looks pretty cool. And it was not a water hole that I made, but one was that one that was already there. Uh, we can check out the nether too, but I'm pretty sure that I never really messed with the nether. Uh, except to get some glowstone maybe, but yeah, it looks like it's pretty much untapped. So got a lot of adventures to do in there. Especially with the last video, the, the nether is coming crazy. I cannot believe how much they added and just all the weird animals and crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I know it's not anything too special, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see for the next videos. Right now I have planned... Uh, might hop on some servers on Minecraft and play some different mini games and that kind of stuff. But if you guys have anything else that you want to see, just let me know. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good day.